So I came across this. Growing up, I never knew a relaxed woman. Successful women, yes. Productive women, plenty. Anxious and afraid and apologetic women, heaps of them. But relaxed women, at ease women, women who aren't afraid to take up space in the world, women who prioritize rest, pleasure, and play, women who gave themselves unconditional permission to relax without guilt, without apology, without feeling like they need to earn it, I'm not sure how I've ever met a woman like that, but I would like to become one. I would like us all to become one. That just, that hurt me. <laughs> that hurt me. Had to put my glasses on for this one. The kicker of all of this, okay? I remember seeing my mom work two jobs, being, you know, totally tired, but unable to sleep, being out you know, doing really everything for our family to survive. I remember the long nights, okay? I do not ever remember her going on a trip by herself. <laughs> Let's just put it, let me say that part. By herself, anywhere. I don't remember her putting her own self before us at all. Right. And I think that she had this idea that if she did that, she was selfish. I think she had this idea that if she had done that, if she had gone after her dreams, I talked to her the other day and she has this aspiration of writing a book and I'm going to help her write this book. We got Amazon these days. Right. So we can write a book. We got AI. We can write a book. OK. Uh, and so I'm going to help her bring that into fruition. I'm going to help her make that a reality because I've written my own book. I don't have it near me, but I've written my own book. OK. Oh, here it is. I've written my own book so we can do that. She's been wanting to do this for a whole 50 some odd years. There's no reason for you to put your dreams and the things that you want to do on hold for 50 years. Become the relaxed woman. We all can do this. And I'm going to help you. DM me.